Genetic diversity is a complex issue. After all, everything does seem somewhat the same, but at the same time, everything has some differences, right? I mean, we've all tried things like blueberry or banana hammock and found them to have not only different flavor bouquets of terpenes, but we've also experienced other things as well, like nuances in the actual effect of that product. Now, some of that comes down to genetics, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And a little bit of it is just kind of a history on genetics that we're going to talk about. So I just wanted to touch on a few topics. Now, back in the day, I was allegedly involved in the production of the plant of plants for, you know, eager and willing participants to partake in. And, you know, there might have or might not have been some monetary compensation involved in that. But, you know, that's another story. And even if the DOJ is watching, I just wanted to point out the statute of limitations has run out, baby. Now, I wanted to share something with you. Um, here is a picture from my past no one else has ever really seen. As you notice, that is the first copy of High Time. And that is also a really choice, you know, OZ and a half, maybe two ounces of bud. Now that kind of diversity back then and that kind of genetic, that was pretty hard to come by. We had our luck sometimes and we accomplished a few things every once in a while. Note the date here. You see the date, you guys? 98. So anyways, you guys, congratulations. You just saw something that no one else has ever really seen. Those were hidden away like they were worse in the day than actually possessing maybe pornography might have been. I mean, can you believe it? I can believe it because like really the reality is, is the government totally sucks. You know, and yeah, I quoted Tenacious D and yeah, they're a little weird, but you know, hey, so am I. Um, anyways, you know, to get this stuff back in the day, we have to do all kinds of things and now, we can go online and there's a you know multitude of seed banks and catalogs where we can get genetics i personally breed my own genetics and i actually haven't been growing too many other genetics than the ones i'm actually working on and i'm pleased to say the results are just outstanding so stay tuned for that because they're coming and uh you know, the research has been phenomenal. It's been a really big period of growth for me personally to do this. But the diversity of genetics really, you know, came into my brain as I was researching the fathers and mothers of, you know, the varietals that I'm now producing. And so I'm facilitating these crosses of things that have, are crosses of crosses. And I started wondering, does this really work? So I would go back in their lineage and you know, that gets muddy when you get back to the nineties and when you get back to the late eighties, because the, you know, shipments of cannabis coming into the country, it virtually almost ceased and the government was seizing all those shipments. And at the same time, people were forced to take whatever bag seeds they had and put them together to make all kinds of things. And out of those things, we did get things like blueberry, which, you know, DJ Short, he, he did a real, you know, thorough regimen and he had a lot of thought behind his creation, which is why, you know, like his creations have lasted over time is because he's done such phenomenal work. And I did see a video where he said about 80% of the things that he had tested that he suspected had his genetics in it did have his genetics in it. And I started thinking about that. 
And as I went through, lo and behold, there were a lot of things with DJ Short's genetics or Sour Diesel or OG Kush or, or Face Off OG and so on, right? And actually, you know, this picture, just an interesting side note, this is I, when I finally got a color printer, I took a picture of the folk Polaroid and then I printed it out. I mean, this was like probably still in the 90s or something. But uh, yeah, here's a closer view of that. And this is actually face off OG and Bubbleberry that you're seeing in the picture. We had to grow those from clones because there were no seeds available where we were at. The laws were very draconian in Washington state at the time. And honestly, I don't know if those laws have really lightened up as far as cultivation or not. Let me know in the comments below if you live in Washington, how is it, are you able to cultivate there? And anyways, so I just wanted to get to the point here. A lot of the genetics we get are coming from crosses of crosses of crosses of crosses and they've been going that way for a really long time. And I'm not saying these crosses aren't of value because I have a few that I've made that I definitely enjoy and I enjoy them quite a bit. And um, I'm, I'm so pleased with the result that, you know, I'm, I'm astounded actually by the result, but it really kind of got me wondering, you know, like, do I really want to be the guy who takes this cool genetic and puts this cool genetic together all the time and then that's what I put out as new? I, I, didn't, I it didn't feel new, you know? So a lot of the work I have been working on is combining land races to make new varieties, not ones that come from the same old, same old cut cloth and the same phenotypes and everything else, um, actually genotypes. Now, a little, little side note there, I mean, a genotype is the exact genes of that plant, so say a clone of that plant, and a phenotype is this, those exact genes being exposed to different environments and expressing different because of that. I hope that makes that clear, but anyway, um, the reality is, is that I started understanding that when you're doing this stuff, that when, you know, different things are going to present themselves along the way, especially in F2, where you can make some profound selections that other people didn't make. Now, over time, we've all heard this story about how the smell was bred out of a lot of our stuff and that was true and intentional to help conceal grows from, you know, hungry lawmakers who saw us as some kind of evil society bent on the destruction of humankind. And, you know, the truth is, is that, you know, this war on us, whether it's been fair or not, has forced a lot of us to hide. And you know, those pictures that I just set behind me on my desk, that's actually proof of that is, you know, we did not want to go to a place and have our film developed. That wasn't a thing. Uh, you didn't do that in 1998. You didn't take pictures of your crop. In fact, there are only a few that we did take pictures of and we were scared to keep them as I mentioned maybe earlier. So, you know, with that lack of genetic diversity, did we miss anything? Did we miss anything we could have found? And there are a lot of people finally starting to look into that. And I'm really, really pleased to see it. Um, we can make something new, you guys. We can change this and still have our old, you know, dependable strains that we love, the genetics that we love, maybe, you know, like I love Jelly Breath. I'm gonna tell you this, I love Jelly Breath. It is absolutely one of my favorite genetics. I love it because of the experience I've had growing it and because of the effect it gives me back. Now, you may have 
familiar genetics that you love and I'm not saying to abandon them but let's bring some new things into the fold let's bring some things into the fold that help power up that level of intensity and that level of pain relief or that level of you know, good humor really I mean I like that giggly stuff I don't know if you guys like that giggly stuff but I happen to love it so you know I would like to encourage you guys to go out seek out some land races grow those puppies out find a good one and then find another land race that's a good one and put it with that and then sort through those and try to find some good ones put those together and try to make some good ones and with that i've been dirk fender you guys put those plants together do something new and until the next time peace i love you guys and party on